from Chiang Rai we are bright and early today it's around 6 30 a.m. we are heading to the blue temple today we're up early again because we want to be the first ones to be there no tourists in our photos in our Instagram pictures anything for Instagram also it's just nice to have the place to yourself you know quiet no other tourists because when these tourists arrive they actually have like microphones and they yell about information about other people me and Fabio we just Wikipedia it and we don't <laughs> we find the information ourselves and we don't have to hire tour guides but anyway I just think there are two always two different types of travelers the one that wake up, wakes up early like us or the ones that you know wake up at 12 and explore during the day sun is up not us we're different we're not normal <laughs> We're getting a Grab, which is the Uber of uh, Southeast Asia, and we're gonna get there with that. We're in, and this is a 79 baht. It's gonna take us about... About 10 minutes. Fabio is always the one who's planning this and researching the information for each location. So I'm so happy and lucky that he, to have him so I don't have to Google and Wikipedia anything. All I can say is we're here right now. I know some information but not a lot as Fabio because he researches and that's how where I get my information. But this is the Blue Temple and as you can see there's the entrance and I think it's open now. And Obviously, we're the first ones again. So this temple is called Wat Rong Swear Ten, which actually means dancing tiger. And this is because tigers used to jump over the river. You probably saw it in the clip before we crossed the Kok River. And that's how they discovered this village. And that's how they found this temple. They rebuilt the temple. There was already a temple before and it was a hundred years old. It's nice because the houses around the temple, they painted it blue as well to go with the theme, the blue theme. But yeah, we're gonna go in now. We're the first ones. These two creatures on my side are called Nagas and they're supposed to protect the temple. They're semi-divine creatures. And inside here, guys, you can see the white Buddha. It actually looks blue because of the light that reflects on the porcelain, but it's white. The decorations are so stunning. They're so detailed. Great fact as well to remember is when you're walking out from the temple, you should not turn your back against Buddha. So you're supposed to walk back like facing Buddha. So it's like a sign this. of respect. Yeah, just as a sign of respect. So and like now this. we're out. And now we're out. So yeah. And guys, check it out. The tourists are here. They're all here now, so now we're leaving. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? <laughs> now that they're here, we're leaving. Bye. I read online that this temple resembles a lot the White Temple, but actually it's quite not true. In fact, in the White Temple, as you could see last time, there were a lot of um, pop culture references, and this is a much holier experience. It's a very spiritual temple as soon as you walk in there's this beautiful music that touches your heart right away we said that this temple means dancing tiger here is the reference of the tiger okay guys so over here this is the angel that protects the temple the angel carries a staff and on top of the staff is the dharma and the wheel is the teaching of buddha okay guys so we're pretty much done with this building or this temple it is so cool i definitely love the color blue it's kind of almost like electric cobalt blue and 
um, yeah it is so nice and inside definitely there's a lot more detail with the painting in the ceiling in the walls like I felt more holier vibe than the white temple definitely I saw a comment about the white temple that it kind of feel like a theme park almost that's a wrap with the blue temple goodbye blue temple and now we have about an hour until 9 a.m. And now guys, we're heading to the Black House Museum. It's a complex of 40 different buildings and we can't wait to check it out. Place is flocking with tourists now. And as soon as they're arriving, we were just about to leave. Wake up early and get to the place. Travel tip 101. Get your shit together. <laughs> Okay guys, so we made it here. Unfortunately, there's a lot of tourists already because they open at 9. So it's pretty late for people to wake up, you know. So everybody's up already at 9. But anyway, it's okay. Not every single place to ourselves, you know. We gotta exactly. share. We need to share. <laughs> also, the blue temple was free to go in. But this black house is 80 baht each person. Yes. Just one maybe. Here we are, guys. <gasps> oh my gosh. I spilled coffee in my shirt. That's looks, okay. It looks very modern now. <laughs> I like it. It's okay. Here we are. We're gonna start from this sanctuary. The building number one. The main theme of this whole complex is the darkness in the heart of men. Wow. So in each one of us, there's always darkness. Bandam or Black House was created by the artist named Thawan Duchani. So he started the project in 1975 and he lived in several of these houses. The artist that built this complex took about 50 years to complete the whole work. Guys, this style is so incredible. I can definitely see a sort of darkness into it. Beside the color of the houses, but also the fact that there's leather, the crocodile leather, and uh, all these horns and all these things, skulls. So it's very, very interesting. So inside, it's literally feel like it's like a theme park almost like a park where there's a lot of houses in different locations and each houses are like signifies different things so we have the guest house oh reptile house we have so like a pearl house museum um, bones house Thailand is so peaceful and and alive and being here there's this side of darkness and a lot of bones and a lot of these skins Furs, horns. This man was rich. He was not contented with one house. So he created two houses. 40. Four, 40 houses. All the buildings are black. There are only four in white and they're full of horns and leather, just like the other ones. But the shape is a bit more modern. Why are they showing penises so much in this place? They do, but look at all the shells. As you go, they become smaller and smaller. So here, we're going to the Time of Tears one. And now, the last of the four white buildings, the Solitude. Guys, I think this is a whole elephant. There can only be an elephant, right? A few minutes later, we are almost finally, finally done because I'm starting to get so hungry, you guys. It's like we haven't had breakfast and it's lunchtime right now. It's almost 12. <laughs> but there's 40 houses. This man was so rich. There's a lot of animals that was killed. That's all I'm gonna say about it. Like horns, the bull's horns, buffalo horns. But also we have to think about how they lived in the past. Yeah, they were hunter and gatherer. Anyway, we're at the exit now. And after this, we're gonna go to eat. Mmm, food now. Go. <laughs> it's so good. And now we're off to the Emerald Temple. That's where they found the statue of an emerald Buddha, but now it's in Bangkok. They transfer it there. There's just a replica of that. All right, we're here. 
this is our last stop for today and after this we're gonna go back to our hostel and just work for the rest of the afternoon this is how Fabio and I made our itinerary so in the morning early mornings we explore and in the afternoon we work all right guys here we are at the emerald temple this is one of the oldest temples of the city of Chiang Rai and actually in 1434 that's where a lightning struck the Chedi and the Emerald Buddha was found now the Emerald Buddha is not here anymore they transferred it to Bangkok but we can still see a copy of it inside So the Emerald Buddha is actually the most significant religious symbol in Thailand and fun fact, Emerald Buddha is actually not Emerald, it's actually Jade. I think I want to be a turtle in my next life because they literally don't do anything. They just lie down and have fun in the sun. It is so peaceful in here you guys. So this is our last stop and there's not really much to see here aside from the temple and the turtles if you're into them and so i decided to just sit down on this couch couch <laughs> on this bench and just soak in the moment isn't this relaxing just sit down soak in the moment like we're in a different space different place this place is so peaceful there's this gentle string music playing in the background which i don't know where it's coming from and there's just trees around us look at, look at that and there's temples oh this is magical i just literally sat down on that bench for five minutes and that concludes this vlog thank you guys so much for watching that was three spots for this vlog and that's a lot we're tired we're gonna go back to their hostel and we're gonna work see you tomorrow bye guys see you for the next adventure bye